Hi there, it's Kimberly with Beauty by Sound, and today we're gonna to do a very quick, easy approach to our summer daytime makeup. Uh, I am 50 now and wanted to show you how I go about creating makeup. When I know I'm gonna be out, it's daytime, I have a few meetings, uh, Zoom calls, but need to do some errands as well and be out and about and wanted to look effortless, pulled together um, and awake. <laughs> And also have my makeup last because it's hot out. So I wanted to show you these tips and techniques. Let's get started. Hi there. Okay, let's get started. This is a super simple, easy summer approach to a quick daytime makeup. First and foremost, on your clean skin, you want to start with a hydrating serum, but something that's not too oily or greasy, especially in humid climates, in extra heat. So I'm using a gel-like hydrating serum and just applying it with my fingers. And I always start with a serum or moisturizer where I need it the most first. So always along my jawline. And now what I'm gonna do is just apply the rest of the face serum through the, my eye. I also like to apply any serum I'm using under my eye, over the ridge of my lips, and of course on my gobble gobble, back of the hands, whatever's left. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go for a super lightweight all over coverage. I have to say something I love, especially in the summertime where I'm not worrying so much about hydration or glow because it naturally happens is a CC cream. CC creams are phenomenal because they also have some reparative benefits in them. And <clears throat> I think almost all CC creams have an SPF. So this one from Chanel that I'm using has an SPF of 50 which I use now as a minimum um, day to day for my skin, knowing that I've used lasers um, and signs of hyperpigmentation pop up much faster. So you can see by just applying that small amount on my face, I get some coverage with my fingers. Again, because it's daytime, I don't want extra thick coverage. Using your fingers, you're going to get the most sheer application. Warm and press your foundation, actually whatever formula you're going to use with your fingers and treat it almost as if you're applying a moisturizer. Start where you know you need it the most first. So for me, it's along my jawline where I have some hyperpigmentation. I like to then apply it around my nose um, and my chin. Also a big tip around your nose, make sure you're going like this so that you get the coverage um, where you're concealing that redness. Now I have a mirror over here so you can see from a side profile, just again, how sheer it is. Um, and I don't mind a little bit of skin or blemishes popping through because again, daytime, I want it to look natural. I want people to say, oh, your skin looks great. Not, oh, what makeup are you wearing? So now that I've got some hydration, you notice I didn't use a moisturizer because again, I tend to get super shiny in the summer, um, but I'm gonna show you a trick for a little bit later if you do find that you get dehydrated or your foundation's settling into fine lines. Again, any or most foundations, you should be able to layer. So I always like to step back from the mirror, look, where do I need it more? And just tap and press foundation where I need that little bit of extra coverage. So tapping and pressing, making sure it's blended up along the hairline, tapping and pressing, and I always like to apply that little bit of foundation also under my eyes and through my um, brow bone, just to, again, to sort of create that blank canvas. Now, because again, I have a little bit more of even color, I still love to go for bronzers. Bronzers in the summer seems like a natural go-to. I love using um, this cream bronzer. It is from Chanel, um, and the why I love this cream bronzer is because it's not greasy, shiny, and it lasts. So it gives more of a velvet matte finish um, and you can use multiple brushes. I actually like to use quite a tight brush on it so I can see the color and I use it more to add subtle definition versus an all over sun kissed glow. So I'm going to apply some here on um, under my cheekbones just to create a soft definition. I have a really tall forehead so I like tapping some of that bronzer to help shorten the forehead along my hairline. If you have a shorter forehead, you could just sweep some maybe on the center of the forehead. And again, tapping and pressing a little bit through the center of the face, but I like the majority of my bronzer um, when I'm not trying to color match to help define my features. So I'm gonna define that jawline, 
tap again so I don't get a strict lines um, because again, I want it to look super subtle so that when you look, you almost can't see it. So really, so I went into the product two, three, maybe four times, I don't even remember. But again, it's super subtle, but I know that again, it just adds subtle definition. It makes me look a little bit healthier. Now, what I also like to go to for the summer is a soft definition on the eyes. And I have to say, when you're looking for a daytime look for your eyes, actually do your brows first. So it's like creating a picture frame. Um, and that soft definition will help, again, lift your eye area. I'm going to just do soft little feathery strokes through my natural brow. I'm not looking to add definition. Um, I do have more specific brow videos on the channel if you're looking for how to do your brow. Um, my number one advice is if you haven't tweezed or plucked or shaped your brows in a while, go to a professional, get them to help you shape the brow, and then just find a brow pencil that is long wearing. Again, I have to say I love the Chanel one. Um, there's so many brow pencils out there, but I do love this one because I'm not pushing. I find the product comes off the pencil very easily. It's almost creamy, but it stays on until I wash it off at the end of the day. So again, I'm just doing soft feathery strokes, making sure the tail of my brow is softly defined. I don't like creating too much heaviness or depth between my brows along my nose side because that pulls the face in. So if you find you're feeling tired or down, just make sure your brows are lifted and lighter. Now for an all over quick, easy wash of color, what I do like to do is just something sheer and sheen, um, just again, to make it feel effortless. So this is a cream eyeshadow and it's in a soft champagne color. I know it's gonna help make my eyes look less gray, which then makes them seem less tired. And just by applying that all over color, we'll just give that soft lift and lightness to my eyes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to further define my eye area and I'm just going to tight line. So I'm a huge fan of tight lining my eyes. If you're not comfortable with this, I want you to practice. Um, I'm gonna use just a dark brown. And I have to say, um, Using a chubby eyeliner will make it easier um, because making sure it's creamy, make sure it's a waterproof formula. Using a dark brown by day, you can use black if you're a must have makeup girl. Um, black always looks great at night, but using an espresso or dark brown, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under the lash line and tight line it's called. So I'm applying color along the lash line and you can see already the difference. So this is a big to-do if you have light lashes, if you have blonde hair, light hair, if you have a really dark lash line, lots of natural lashes, it's amazing. So just make sure you're getting mascara on. This um, step may not be as necessary, but because I'm so fair, I need that extra help defining my lash line. Something else I do like to do now is just by applying a little bit of that same color, on the outer half of my um, upper eyelid is just a little bit of color. The reason I apply it only to the outer half of my eye is because my eyes turn down on the outside. And I find as I get older, my eyes, you know, look more and more tired. <laughs> so I'm trying to constantly lift them. So by wherever you apply eyeliner, that's gonna define more that eye shape. So this way I am, um, you know, defining and also helping to almost make my eyes look that, you know, cat eye look um, and defining it. So I'm just gonna use a small brush to smudge the liner. Uh, if you don't have a small brush, you can even use your fingertip softly. But again, just having it look effortless um, and I'm just taking whatever's left from that outer half of my eye and blending it inward. So you can see it's a very soft haze along that upper lash line so that again, it just looks natural, not overly uh, done, and is helping to define my eye shape. And keeping it in a soft brown keeps it very neutral. So whether or not you're wearing a fun um, floral dress, you're wearing 
um, you know, a bright orange dress or you're wearing something nude, you know, soft browns or uh, beiges are always gonna work. Now you're gonna go for mascara. I won't uh, spend our video, as I always tell you, applying my, my mascara. I'm a huge believer in lots of mascara, but maybe that's because I have blonde lashes that don't show up naturally. Um, but the biggest tip, no matter how much lash you do or don't have, I want you to do this. Start right at the root of the lash, uh, press in and then zigzag up. And I want you to think of your lashes three ways from the outside lash line, the center of the lash line, and then the inner corner of the lash line. So you're getting all three sides of your eye shape to help create that fan of um, mascara across your lashes. Now, you may feel that bronzer is enough. I am, if you don't know me, I'm gonna tell you, I my nickname is the Blush Fairy because I do love blush so much. So I love applying a pretty blush uh, every day, all the time, no matter what the look is. If you feel that blush or you have a not, lot of natural red in your skin, just apply more bronzer, at least on your cheeks, to help create a soft, pretty wash of color. I find pink blush helps bring out the color of your eyes and looks so pretty. Um, you know, it's just, I guess, very feminine. So you can see how humid it is today. I'm even schwitzing on my upper lip. So um, again, that's why I do love the CC cream because I find it doesn't break off, it doesn't separate, and it is super wearable. So now I am gonna apply a little bit of concealer also under my eye, just in that inner corner um, where I have that deeper set shape. So really take a step back, look, where do you see darkness? If your eyes are deeper set, smaller, um, make sure that you're tapping and pressing that concealer right into that inner corner here, uh, right where your eyelid and your bridge of your nose meet, and then tapping even a little bit here up onto um, the inner corner of your eye. So you can see right away that that helped brighten. So again, just using your ring finger around your eye area is probably the best tip I can give you. Um, and if you have a hard time using your ring finger, using your middle finger, um, but very gently, please. You you know, the skin around your eye is more tender, more sensitive, thinner, so we wanna have gentle pressure. Now, last but not least, you can choose a lip. So because I've got sort of this pinkish color top on, I'm gonna go for a long wear uh, lip because I'm still wearing a mask indoors. Uh, so I'm gonna apply a nice, pretty liquid lip that I know is going to stay on during my mask. I do love this formula because once the color has set, I can top up with a clear gloss. So if my lips are feeling dry or tight, then you know it gives that little bit of oomph to my lips. So I will finish my mascara. I'll post a picture at the end. Please ask any questions about any of the products I've used. I'll list them in the description box. Um, hope you picked up some tips because I'm sure you've got lots of product at home that you can use the tips and techniques you've learned during this vid. All right, huge hugs. Enjoy your summer days. Bye.